Hey everybody, CD here, hanging in the cave again today. Uh, I've seen a video I just put on a couple days ago, uh, the Remington in the Manor stock. Uh, you know I got a shill and tube screwed on it. Um, as I mentioned, this action, this this stock has been glass bedded to another action somewhere sometime. I don't know the history on it. But anyway, it does not fit this one. Uh, evidently the barrel on the previous was larger diameter. I got contact on the barrel, I got no contact on the back, back behind the recoil lug. Uh, so we're just going to take out all of the old bedding material, redo it, and it's going to fit this one. Uh, you know the routine, camera's going on the ceiling, come on along, it's going to be a simple job. Okay, first thing I want to do is get that old material out of here. I've already started a little bit with it with nothing more than wood chisels. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of material this is, but it comes out of there. Uh, it's different than any kind that I've ever used. You can just literally shave. And it's not like you're going to have to move an eighth of an inch all the way across. If you move like a thirty-second of an inch, that's going to be plenty. That's going to give clearance all the way around again where clearance is needed. And then just fill it back in with your uh, new material of choice. Of course, just like working wood, you want your chisel super sharp. Stay away from that upper edge. You want to keep them lines straight, pure, and square. Anything below that line down here, it's all going to be refilled. Nobody sees it. It's all going to be new. Get up front. Might be able to do the same thing here. If not, i got a Dremel. We'll just take a burr, remove. I think I'm going to take this down to the height of the pillar. This thing is pillar bedded already. I might remove all the material down to the height of the pillar. Oh, look at that. That comes off one big chunk. Get it started. Oh, look at that. That is some weird, weird material. I've never dealt with anything like that before. I have no idea what that is. I hope it all comes out that easy. doing this kind of stuff you absolutely have to have some kind of a rotary tool this is just a Dremel uh, hey tell you what this is one of the first things I bought when we bought this house and I've been here for over 25 years things got a pretty good shelf life and it's done a lot of use for me I'm gonna get out a vacuum cleaner and try to keep this up about half clean as I go Works good. I just uh, taped or uh, tied my old vacuum cleaner hose right up on there. That's just slicker than slick, folks. I'm just about down to uh, original on the front half. I'm going to go back and do this here around the uh, bolt hole. I'm going to completely clean out that log with the burr. And uh, short order, we have to sucker on the road. All right, magic of Dremel and a wood chisel. I've got all that old epoxy well down. Uh, the barrel, the tang, is setting on here, on that pillar. I don't think I'm going to be sitting on that pillar unless I take a hell of a lot out of here. So, we're going to fit that barrel into here. I want to show you what I'm doing right now. Due to the diameter of this barrel, the size of the cutout, the rigidness of the barrel, the rigidness of the stock, 
I'm not gonna, if I got a dollar bill, you know, they all slip a dollar bill, I'm gonna use a piece of paper, fold it over. Two thicknesses of paper is all I'm gonna use when the time comes to bet it. Do I have clearance yet? We're gonna stick another piece of paper. I've got clearance. I've been sanding on this a little bit. Right here, if you don't go through this side, I'm good. Right here, I can see it. I just have to move, remove just a hair bit more. All I'm doing, probably 100 grit sandpaper on my finger. The stuff is off. Uh, it's synthetic stuff. It sands real fast, real easy. It's not difficult. thinking we're probably there. There's my clearance. I got it all the way through. I am down to mixing up some epoxy, putting it all together, and uh, letting it set overnight. I'm going to let it set three, four days before I shoot them usually. But it's time for me to uh, get ready to go to work, so we'll continue this another day. But uh, probably another 30, 40 minutes is all I got into this entire project. Take care, folks. All right, folks, this is what we're looking at right now. Got everything taped up. Everything we don't want glue on, you got to tape it up or the stuff is rather uncomfortable to clean up. Uh, tape it up, you're good. Uh, what? Recap, we got everything ground out here, everything removed around here. We had about an inch in front of the recoil lug, about first inch of the barrel. I'm going to take it out to this uh, part that's routered out here, about an inch and a half. Number eight contour barrel. This thing weighs a ton. Uh, the importance of supporting that first inch of barrel. You got this thing, it probably weighs six pounds, just the barrel. It's unbelievable. You got that much torque pulling on that right there in the front of this action what kind of stress is on that barrel or on that action right there you put some glue right here and support it you just took uh, the vast majority of that stress out of that it is oh so important you support that first inch or so of barrel that's exactly what was done and that's exactly what we're going to repeat all right Taking nothing more than regular modeling clay. Holes that you don't want the epoxy getting into is just the action screws. I was going to take the trigger out, but I don't think I'm going to have that much back here. Uh, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think we'll get by. I'm going to coat the heck out of it with Hornady One Shot. You know that. You've heard that. You've seen that. This stuff works really good. I give it two or three really good coats. Recoil lug on the front and on the bottom. I just put one layer of masking tape. When that's sitting in there sometime in the future you want to get it out, it's not much, a few thousandths of an inch. It'll come out rather easy. All right, we are going to Probably doesn't matter what you use. This is what I use. I've used some other stuff, but uh, works exactly the same. Looks the same. Smells the same. I'm sure it is Brownells packaged in another one. Uh, Miles Gilbert, I think, is if I remember the name. Anyway, resin hardener, hardener resin, whichever way it goes. You mix it 50/50. Uh, not going to bore you with that. I'm going to get this stuff mixed up. We'll get ready to go. All right, we got this stuff mixed. It's about the consistency. Ah, uh, what would you say? Chilled butter. Not runny. But stays. Wherever you put it, that's where it's going to be. It just stays put.
You see the top of my head yet? Yeah, she's going to look good. Going to work good. Be rock solid. And it will allow your platform to be as absolutely as accurate as it can possibly be. Yeah, we're good. I don't have plenty of rags around because this stuff is sticky and you don't want to get it anywhere that you really don't need it to be. Uh, okay, I got two coats on this thing. I'm going to give it a third. Let's back out. Well, let's back in. Maybe you get a better look at what this stuff actually looks like in there. Not really. Okay, let's back her out. I'm going to give it another coat of Hornady One Shot. You absolutely do not want to forget your release agent. Let that dry for a second. Ah, what the whistle? You know, I took quite a bit. I took quite a bit out around right here. I'm just going to put a wad of it in there. Let the overflow go where it may, we'll clean it up. Better than not having enough. 
I remember when I took that out of there? Ah, uh, boy. All right, we're going to see goo smear everywhere. Remember, I'm using a piece of paper on the front. That's all it's uh, doing my centering for me. Back here, it's self-centering. The tang is kind of round into a round. I don't need anything back here. Uh, we're going to have pressure down here, support here, support on that paper. Everything else is going to be filled with epoxy. Tomorrow morning, it's going to have a whole new everything. Let's give her hell. Oh, look at the stuff goo out of there. Yeah. Mm-hmm, you betcha. We got it coming out everywhere, and that's exactly what you want. We filled every void, every hole. Not holes, we filled holes with uh, modeling clay, because we don't want them filled. But anyway, just the weight of this thing, I don't think I need any holes, anything holding it down. The stuff doesn't swell and shrink and swell and shrink. We're just going to let her set. Maybe go fishing or something tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow afternoon. We'll give you a good 24 hours tomorrow evening. We'll pull this thing out of here and show you what she looks like. We'll finish cleaning it up. And uh, another 24 hours after that, maybe we'll get out and do some shooting. I like to let it set at least two days before I shoot. But anyway, we're out of here. We'll be back.